this viral YouTube shorts niche is the easiest to create videos in. And right now it has a brand new opportunity that nobody else is talking about. If you move fast, it can really tip the scales in your favor. Now, what is this opportunity that I'm talking about? It is mixing the viral facts niche with another viral niche to create one super niche that instantly 10Xs your chances of going viral on YouTube or even TikTok. We've already spoken about one super niche on this channel and that video is done pretty well. So you can go check it out here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create another super niche using one single AI tool so that you literally don't have to script, shoot or record anything. Now, most viral fact video channels create YouTube shorts that give you a list of random facts narrated by an AI voiceover put against the backdrop of colorful videos, something that looks like this. Don't sleep in your bed tonight. Random facts that will save your life. There are also other fact channels that use the footage of what they're talking about in the actual fact, like this one. Creepy but true space incidents, part one. But we are not going to do any of this. What we are going to do instead is use gameplay videos in the background instead of using stock footage or colorful videos. Now, gameplay videos like that of Minecraft and Subway Surfer have already been going viral on the internet for quite some time now. They are also huge in the Reddit stories niche. In fact, there's a reason that the Reddit stories niche started going viral in the first place. And this is because gameplay recordings are super engaging to watch. Now match those with interesting facts and it takes your social media game to a whole new level. And the best part is that these are so easy to create even for complete beginners. Let me show you how. First thing you need to do is pick topics that you're going to create your videos on. And it makes sense to have topics that allow you to showcase multiple facts in one single video, since that is the format that seems to work best on both YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Now, the easiest way to do this is to do a little bit of competitor analysis and look at what kind of videos have done well for other fact channels. Go ahead and note down these topics. And from these, you want to pick four or five that you want to get started with. I am going to go ahead with this one, unethical life hacks. Sounds very wrong, but very intriguing at the same time. So this is something that I personally want to click on. And I think that can be a good starting point. Next, we are going to create our video. For this, we are going to head to simplified.com and here I am going to log into my account and then I'm just going to scroll down and select this option of the TikTok or real script. Now here I'm just going to go ahead and input my topic and choose the creativity level and language and then I'm going to hit generate. The reason that I am doing it this way, which is creating the script first, instead of just using a text to video generator is because this allows me more control over the script. And the success of your video depends entirely on how you script it. So it is a good idea to have more control over it and make any changes to it before you create the actual video using it. Now, once Simplify generates my script, I am going to open it in the editor. Here, I am going to make any changes that I want. I actually want the script to start with a bizarre hack because we saw in our reference videos that that is the kind of format that works really well for these types of shorts and it instantly hooks the audience. And then I am going to have my title and the other facts. So when you use AI tools to script out your videos, they also give you cues on what kind of footage to use and all of that jazz. And that's a great thing for when you need those in your videos. We don't need it here. So I've removed all of that and I've just stuck with the facts themselves. Now, once the script is edited, we are just going to copy the text and then we are going to go back on the homepage and click on generate with AI, this option right here. Here, I am going to choose the script to video feature. Then I am just going to go ahead and select the size. I'm going to go ahead with 9 to 16 because that is the size for a YouTube short. Next, you want to select the AI speaker. Now, Simplified has released the option to clone your own voice and it is actually super easy to do. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So go ahead and click on this option to clone your voice. Here we are going to name our voice and then Simplified presents us with a paragraph to read. You don't need any fancy equipment. You can just use your laptop mic and record it right here on Simplified itself. 
uh, just read out the para recording your voice and once you're done click on clone and simplify it will take a few minutes to clone your voice and and bring you back to the video page with that voice selected as the voiceover after that you're just going to fill the rest of the parameters type in your title in the title box and then simply paste your script in the script box select your language finally just go ahead and choose your creativity level and tone and then you are going to hit generate now simplify it takes a couple of minutes to generate your first draft you don't have to wait around for it you can actually close the window go do your other work and once your draft is ready you actually get an email notification telling you that it's ready let's go ahead and take a look put cheap wine in expensive bottles to give away as gifts unethical life hacks you should never use wear sunglasses and pretend like you just got eye surgery to skip to the front of the line at restaurants. Now this is a fairly great result, but like we discussed in the beginning, we do not want stock footage in the background. We actually want to replace it with gameplay footage. And what I love about Simplified is that making changes with this tool, with your AI generated content is so easy to do. It's so intuitive that it doesn't take you a lot of time at all. All. Once the video opens up in the editor, I'm just going to take a look at the script on the left side to ensure that all of my spellings, etc. is correct and the AI has not made any changes to that. And uh, yeah, that looks good. Now for the gameplay footage, we are going to go head back to YouTube and here we are going to search for Minecraft Parkour. I really love these videos of the parkour footage and it looks so much fun. Like I want to do that in real life. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna go back to YouTube and I found this one, an hour long parkour video by BB Swibzer. And if you open up the description for this video, you will see that several channels have used clips from it to create shorts for their own channel. So clearly it is not a copyright issue. This guy is allowing people to use this footage for a short. So that is what we are going to do as well. Now to download this, video you can go to any website that allows you to download youtube videos and you are just going to put in your link here and it will get downloaded it just takes a couple of seconds another thing that you can do is just screen record some of the footage because this is an hour long video and you probably just need like 30 seconds so it does not make sense to download the entire one hour video so i actually am gonna just screen record a little bit of the footage and now once you have the required clip you are gonna go back to simplified and in the left menu you are going to click on this option on the top that says my assets and here you are going to upload this clip that you just screen recorded once it's uploaded just click on it and it gets placed on the canvas and here you will need to adjust the clip to fit the canvas to ensure that there's no blank space or borders or you know the previous footage showing etc just drag it around, fit it. And then we are going to right click on this clip to basically send it below the subtitle layer. So we're going to click send to back. Now under the canvas, you're going to click on this option to open the entire timeline view so that you can adjust the length of your clips to fit the length of the voiceover, right? Now, because we chose the entire clip, it can be a slightly longer, or slightly shorter, whatever. So just make sure that you drag around all of the elements to line up here on the timeline. And with that, the base of your video is Done. Next, we want to adjust the subtitles to show them word by word on screen. That seems to be the format that works really well for fact videos, for Reddit story videos. So that's what we are going to do. And for this, go ahead and click on this subtitle option in the left menu. And here you are going to click on this option on top that says subtitle style. Here we are going to choose a different word style altogether, like a different subtitle style. I am going with this single word one. Looks good. Next, I am just going to use this drop down right on top of the canvas. My subtitle layer is still selected. Keep that in mind. And I'm going to change the font and the size of the font as well. And in the subtitle menu on the left, I am going to change the case of the letters to all uppercase. Okay, that looks great. All right, do we need to do anything else? Oh, nope. Yeah, and with that, our fact video is ready. Let's go ahead and give it a look. Put cheap wine in expensive bottles to give away as gifts. Unethical life hacks you should never use. Wear sunglasses and pretend like you just got eye surgery to skip to the front of the line at restaurants. How great does that look? Honestly, 
wouldn't you watch this as a fact video? I am actually hooked to gameplay recordings and the fact videos, so I would definitely watch this and give it a thumbs up. And it literally took me less than 10 minutes to make with simplified AI. Now, another great part is that once my short is ready, I can actually choose to publish it directly from simplified to my social media channels. I just need to link my accounts and you can link multiple different accounts here, as you can see. And if you don't want to do that, although I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that, but if you don't want to do that, you can just go ahead and export it, send it across to your phone or your laptop or whatever and publish it from there. Now, keep in mind that if you are on the free plan, you will have a watermark on the video and the maximum resolution is going to be 720p. This is a great way to just test out the water to see if this fits your needs. But I highly recommend getting on the paid plan if you are serious about creating content online for your brand or for social media, because this tool hands down will save you so much time, so much effort and so much money cannot even begin to tell you. And you can do all of that for like $19 a month. That's a steal deal. Now make sure you create and publish such videos regularly because you need to be consistent with your YouTube, with your TikTok, with your Instagram to really see good results. And don't forget to check out these videos next for awesome ideas on how to grow your own socials.